Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given rational equation. And by the way, a rational equation is simply an algebraic fraction since we are dealing with these fractions. So the next step is we want to solve this equation for x. So the easiest way to solve this one is to remove these fractions. So get rid of these denominators. The very first step is to find the least common denominator or simply LCD among these denominators. So let's focus on these coefficients, only these numbers 2, 3 and 4. So the least common denominator among these three numbers is simply 12. I'm sure everybody knows that one, 12. Now let's focus on the variables, which is x power 2 and simply x power 1. What is the highest degree of x over here? x power 2 is the highest. I want you to just put down the highest degree over here. So it's going to be x power 2. So thus 12 x power 2 is our LCD. So the next step is I want you to multiply this 12x squared, the least common denominator across the board over here. I want to put down 12x squared on the top of the first fraction and then 12x squared on the second term and then 12x squared on the third term. I just multiplied it across the board. Let's simplify this thing. So this 2 goes into 12 six times. So this simply becomes, I want you to just put down 1, this one, just whatever, 1 times 6x square minus, and then over here you can look at this thing, 3 goes into 12 four times, and this x square and this x square, they cancel each other out, so we got negative 2 times this 4 you just put it down equals to same thing we're going to do 4 divides into 12 3 times this 1x cancel to this x square we simply ended up with x so we got simply 5 times 3x so let's simplify this thing 1 times 6x square is going to be simply 6x square minus 8 equals to 15x. I want you to move this 15x on this side so this simply becomes 6x square. When you move this positive 15x this becomes negative 15x and we already got negative 8 over here equal to 0. So as you can see this is a quadratic equation and we want to solve for this one for x. And now we're going to be applying this quadratic formula as you can see over here where our coefficient a is 6, b is negative 15 and c is negative 8. Let's go ahead and substitute these values, apply these values in this quadratic formula. So we're going to be having this one x equal to minus and b is negative 15 plus minus b square b in our case is negative 15 power 2 minus 4 times a is 6 and c is negative 8 everything is divided by 2 times 6. Let's simplify this one so we simply got negative and negative become positive 15 plus minus uh, negative 15 squared is going to be simply 225 and when you multiply these one that's going to give you positive 192 and everything is divided by 6 times 2 is 12. Let's go ahead and simplify this one a little more so that's going to be 15 plus or minus so that's going to become 417 
divided by 12. So we got this x equal to this much. We're going to split these positive and negative sign. So we simply got one of the solution is x equal to 15 plus 417 divided by 12 and the other solution we got x equal to 15 minus 417 divided by 12. So thus our solution set turns out to be a 15 plus square root of 417 divided by 12 and the other one is 15 minus square root of 417 divided by 12 and that is our answer. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.